No, but she went over there. Hey, it's that time again. Day work call, guys. It's 8 o'clock. Come on, get it together. We got a lot to get through this morning. Now sit down and shut up. Okay. First thing, we have a small change of routine starting today. Instead of handing every one of you guys a copy of the hot sheet, we're going to post just one. But it'll still be your responsibility to get those numbers in your books. Oh, by the way, I spoke with Cully late yesterday. He said his bites are healing pretty well. He should be back in about a week. Also, the tryouts for the Police Olympics are this Saturday, 10 a.m. Quincy Park, diamond number three. Okay, I'm going to hand out some teletype stuff now, and I want you to read it this time. Your lives may depend on it. We'll proceed with the roll call in the meantime. Alan and Mott, 7A15. Bradley and McGuire, 7I55. Cummings, 7M47. Dawson, 7T23. Decker, 7M46, Donnelly, 7M66, Donnelly, Donnelly, you here? <laughs> Very funny. Will you call a supervisor? Doherty, 7M27, Favor, 7M49. This is down as vacation starts today. Call oh, Maggie. Let's get a replacement in here. Yeah. From all these 1716. Yeah. Honor. Yeah. 7M53. Jones. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, officer. What's the problem? Well, I'd like to see your driver's license, please, and your registration. Of course. I don't understand why you stopped me. Your registration, please. All right. Where are you from, Helene? Uh, outside Los Angeles. Actually, it's there on the license. Yes, I can see that. I mean, originally. Where are you from originally? Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, okay, that's all Kentucky. you want to know. I would, uh... I never stopped anyone from Louisville, Kentucky before. This is the first time. Why did you stop me? Well, ma'am, I believe you're drunk. Drunk? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I really don't care what time it is. I believe you're under the influence, and I need to give you a test for sobriety, and I feel please get out of the car. I am not drunk. Can you not see that? There's no need for you to get mad at me, Helene. It's my job. Now, will you please get out of the car? 
How long is this going to take? All right, ma'am, now I want you to walk that line straight as you can. Heel toe, heel toe. There is really no point in it. Good, I'm impressed. Another little test, please. Want you to put your hands out like this. Close your eyes, I'll take these. And touch your forefinger to your nose. <sighs> Wait a minute, I can do this. I'm just a little tired. I understand. Take your time. Take your time. <sighs> Very good. I'm beginning to believe you. One last little test. Turn around. Tilt your head back. Put your hands behind your back. Close your eyes and stand on one foot. <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? Stop it. What the hell are you doing? Stand your position. Look, I am not drunk. Let go of me. I am not drunk. Stop it. What are you doing? Leave me out of here. No, no, I won't be alone. Open up. Ben? Hey, Sheriff, what can I do for you? A little early for the softball collection. Didn't invite me in for a minute. I'd like to, Sheriff, but maybe you can come back in about an hour. Don't have it. We got a complaint about the noise. Oh, yeah, well, the uh, girls were fighting. I'm sorry you had to come all the way out here. Enid in here? Yeah, she's resting, but I, I don't think she wants to be disturbed. Enid? Enid, are you in there? It's Sam Brody. Eden, if you don't come out, I'm going to have to come in. She took a bad fall there, Sheriff. Come here. Okay. 
Can you walk, Enid? Let me take you to the hospital. Enid. Enid, you've, you've got to press charges this time. You know that. You don't have to be afraid. I'll take him in for a few days and keep him there. Fourth, fifth time. Oh, is it? Look, I hate to cause you guys all this trouble. We know there's women. If you don't knock them around, then you get yourself to that wife beating center in the valley. You hear me? Yes, sir. Next time I come out here, Ben. You understand? to L.A. She was supposed to be driving through here. I want to file a... I've, I've got a photo here. What'd you say your name was? It's Harrelson. Len Harrelson. Is that Highway Patrol now? Yes, I called uh, oh, last night. A few times. Uh, they said, you don't stay put. Call me. you mean? <laughs> Have you been in here before? You look kind of familiar. Well, you got good eyes there, Kitty. I come up here every year about this time, up around China Lake, near here. In fact, last year I was sitting at the same table, ate the same eggs, and had the same black mud. Well, I know it. What do you do? Well, guess. I can't guess. I had a lot of tip-offs with man's line of work, but his face or his eyes. Hands. Use your imagination. I don't know. You're an actor? No. No, 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 no. Well, you kind of look like a soldier. I'm a writer. A writer? Well, now, how was I ever going to figure that out? Well, if you examine me closely, you would see that there's a callus right here, see? Now, the only way that you can get that is from a pen or a pencil. Up and, you know, against the same spot hour after hour. It's kind of like Sherlock Holmes or something. <laughs> no. Well, I had to get back to work. I'll see you. Okay. Yeah. Hey! Hey, give me that on the menu. <laughs> Any idea on you, pal? What's the problem, officer? The problem is I believe you owe that lady an apology. Gee, I don't see no lady over there. How about you, Al? You see a lady over there? <laughs> <laughs> How about this, germ? You see this? Hey! Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, something. Hey, leave me alone! Something. Leave me alone! Here! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 no. Oh,
coffee? Oh. Coffee now. Okay. Oh. Okay. See you next year. Absolutely. Giving me pitching practice on Friday. If you finish logging these reports into the computer, I just might consider that. Hey, Sam, it's about that time. Bye. Bye. Let's go, Bobby. I wanted to tell you about that game. You already told us about that game last night. No, I didn't. I was telling you about last week's game. All right, bottom of the eighth. Bercelli comes up. He's got a man on second. Pops a little grouper over the second baseman's head. He takes first. Decides to go for two. When all of a sudden he's rounding first, bang, he goes over like a rock. I mean, no one knew what happened. He just went over. He didn't hit anybody, he didn't run into anything. Bobby, let's make a stop at Waters Garage. What for, Sam? Maybe you've seen that Mercedes. You got it. At right, bottom of the eight, Bercelli comes up, he's got a man on second. He takes first. <laughs> He's inside, locked up, like you say. Why don't you go on and check for yourself? He ain't bit nobody in a week. Just might do that, Wiley. Damn it, Wiley. You're going happy dogs. Do you have any uh, road calls yesterday? Uh-uh. We're looking for a woman in a red Mercedes convertible, about 45, blonde hair. What'd she do? Just didn't come home. Hey, Wiley, you find that car? You let us know before you sell it, okay? Okay. Bar out of the vehicle. Radio the highway patrol. Tell them we need an ambulance. Shouldn't we open it first, Nick? Well, the thing is, they could have gotten handcuffs like that anyway. So 
I might find out if Raymond's is on his way. He's been called. He should be. Well, okay. maybe there's still time to get. Uh, and get Clayus over here. Tell him Sacramento. <clears> when we are. Could get in for red. Uh, Car secured. We called Albertsons hours ago. He said he might be a few minutes. Okay. Thanks, Sheriff. We'll keep you posted. Yeah, here's the uh, situation. Talk to your mom about you coming out this weekend. Just the two of us would be together, huh? Just you and me. Hey, that reminds me. Now I went by Clocks the other day, and guess what? They got a whole new shipment of dirt bikes in there. They got the uh, knobby wheels. They got ten speed. They got the works. And one of them is bright red. Oh, she did, did she? Wow, well, boy, that's that's really great. That's... You're gonna have to bring that out next time you come. Uh, listen, could I talk to your mom? Oh, she is, huh? Um, well, just tell her that... Just tell her to call me, okay, when she gets a chance. Yeah, I love you too. Bye-bye. Walk over to the car with your hands where I can see them. Gotcha, gotcha. What's the problem? You're under arrest for violating section 1115 of the public one, decency one, one, code. Five, Put five. your hands on the hood and spread yes, your legs. Yes. Go and spread well, them now. Oh, I got them. What you doing? If you're not doing anything, what's not? How about if I buy you a beer? <laughs> something else, you know that? Oh. Hey. What do we got here, partner? Don't drink at all. Why don't you give me your left hand? I got left hand.
Officer Donnelly. Yes, sir, Sheriff. Well, I guess I got a little out of hand last night, huh? Yeah. Well, my first day of vacation, you know, I don't know if a little too much steam like this. What are you doing up here, Donnelly? Well, I was going up to Kernville to see my sister. Yeah, I stopped for a hamburger, you know, I had a few and had a few, and you know how it is. You're going to rain me? What do you suggest? Recommend community service? Well, you know, making choices what being a cop's all about, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's the ones you lean on, the ones you know you can let off. And where do we stop for donuts? Listen, I got 24 years in on the force, and if you bust me, they could shut my pension down cold, and I go out with nothing. Mm. You know I'm not going to do it again. Hey, where are you going? What's the matter? Hey! Don't cops deserve a break in this one horse town? She stopped. Who? If her car was still running all right, why would she stop way up? Unless she was already in the trunk. Then how would he get away? I don't know, Sam. Hey, out there? What do you want to do with the guy in the back? Donnelly. Mostly small stuff. Family disturbance, accidents. Highway Patrol handles the uh, big investigations. They only let them ride choppers and re-educate DUIs. They must be power happy out here. How about they stage a manhunt for every B and E? Well, thanks for everything. You can always depend on a fellow officer. when your mouth's full. <laughs> I used to hang out in amusement parks a lot. Are you a fan? Oh, no, that's my kids. What the hell are you doing hanging out in amusement parks? Oh, all the usual, you know, roller coasters and shooting ducks and pitching pennies and watching pickpockets on my day off. You stick. Scanning out first, you know. I think I'm going to bust them. And, uh, after a while, I gained their confidence. And then after a while, it was like bird watching. I learned a lot about police work from watching pickpockets. What exactly? You and these girls. No, I'll take care of those. You go over here. Problem? No problem, I'm just running late. Come on. Never mind now, we gotta get going.
I guess it was ignition, like you said. Yeah, well, so long, Don Lee. Be careful out there. You too, Brody. I'll see you next year. All right. I'm sorry I'm late. Let me warm you up. That's okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm meaning to ask you, how come that team of yours needed to get a girl pitcher? <laughs> Wasn't ready. What I do for fun. What do you do for fun, Sam? Well, I, I used to... <laughs> I used to play baseball, but that was a while ago. I thought I was pretty good then, but... It'll come back to you, just like everything else. Time to see. I didn't mean to. I was trying to drive out here. I got so tired. About to fall asleep. I pulled off the road. You, would now. you want to get arrested again? No. Cops and jails don't work out. Don't work. I'll tell you what. I got a trailer out back of the house if you want to use it. Appreciate that, but that's all right. Okay, why don't you suit yourself? It's unlocked. The house is unlocked. You want to help yourself to a beer if you want. It's in the fridge. Listen, I didn't mean to horn in. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I'll see you later. Yeah, you know, it must be uh, pretty good if you don't have to lock the doors around here. It must be pretty good police for us. You want a beer? Sure. Got some chicken in the oven if you want some. No, thanks. I I'm gonna take a shower. You can take one too. Or we can take one together and save water.
What's a nice little girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> what, John Alay? Yeah. I was an army brat. We lived in a lot of deserts. And this was the last. They moved and I stayed. Good. What about you? Oh, I thought everyone knew that. Big city cop looking over the edge of everything street home i heard about this small community where the sheriff was hanging up his badge and i thought that might be a way back oh. Oh. <laughs> i better eat something do you want something to drink oh. What's this? You know, those logs you wanted? Wait a minute. Cindy? Yeah? You sure you type this right? It has to be 13, 14. Disappearances and murders here. Are you sure this is right? Yeah, yeah, I just transcribed what was there. Wow. What's up, son? Oh, Wallace. Same old stuff. What do you think? No, I'm still on duty. I heard Linda took off. It's a damn shame. Nobody knows how rough it is except another cop. It's a shame. What's this? 
These don't help. What We're is it? We're trying to transcribe your old records to computer walls, trying to modernize. These uh, turned up when we collated according to type of crime. Man, waste of time. We didn't need computers when I was sheriff. These are disappearances and murders over the last five years. Same M.O., same kind of victim, same time of year. Now, these are the dates, if you look at that. Now I see. Have another one, Bonnie. Damn coincidences are all heat. The hell it is. What are you trying to say, son? Just what the hell are you trying to say? All right, well, let's, let's just say for the sake of argument that the computer turned up a worker, a, you know, a serial killer. Now, maybe somebody living in the back country. I'm kind of new here, Wallace. I need to touch every base. I need to have whatever information you might have on, I don't know, desert rats. Now, Wallace, now. Got a dirty job. Let's call Donnelly. He'll do it. Any kind of crap. Let's call Donnelly.
sleep. Thought you were going to go visit your sister. Well, I did. Short visit. I planned to leave before you got back. But the sun wiped me out. What time is it? I got 10 to 10. What happened? Huh? At your sister's, what happened? Oh, a fight with the husband. You know, he wanted me to play golf. Not like I hadn't ridden for three hours in 102 degree heat, you know. Well, come on over, pick something to eat. Sheriff Brody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me get a pencil. When was this? Yeah. You dropped him off at 4 o'clock. What time does he usually come home from work? Yeah. Well, okay, I'll check it out then. Bye-bye. Problem? You've been getting murdered on the roads outside of town. And it goes back five years. I think I got a worker. You mean psycho? Gotta be. If you need any help, I'm not doing anything. What'd you bring him along for, Sam? He offered to help. What do you make of this? I don't know. Looks pretty fresh. Anybody see that game yesterday? Uh, who are we looking for again? The guy didn't come home. Isn't this the canyon that, uh, what's his name, Clint Early lived in? Used to. Ought to be right there on Wallace's map, Sam. Clint Early? Sounds like a sex offender. Well, I send the high patrol after him, but don't they have helicopters? No. No, I lost it, Sam. Wind must have covered those tracks. Well, we better check out early anyway. Get him off the wrist. This ought to be him up ahead. Ought to be or is. Well, that ride took care of breakfast. Donnie's gonna come with me. You stay here, Bobby. I'm the deputy, Sam. Just I should go, here. too. Can you handle one of these? Oh, I'll leave back here. All right, let's go. What do you do here? Who, me? I flush it. A little pepper gas, some mortar, you know. <laughs> I'm Luke the Twit. Hey! Hey, Bozo! Well, so much for surprise. Not that it mattered much. What do you mean? Nobody had stopped for him anyway. People who die, they never stopped for anybody who looked like Clint Early, no matter what.
We're looking in the wrong place. Hi. Well, everybody does something wrong. People don't stop in back roads for Clint Earlies, period. Too isolated, too hot. Yeah. But most people are incredibly stupid. <laughs> Get out of here! Sam? Sam, what's going on up here? I do believe he saw us. Bobby! Move that vehicle! What are you doing? He ain't gonna shoot us. He could have killed us if he wanted to. You could have killed us if you wanted to, couldn't you? Couldn't you, you little pervert? You need to let him get away with this, you know? Do some terrible ideas. How I spent my summer vacation. Better cover up. You'll get burned. I knew this other cop one time, you know. Had him staked out watching his crack house for about three days. Ah, he's waiting for this insect. So he's sitting, and after a couple of days, he gets it. He gets inside. So he says, aha, uh -huh. nobody will know. Who'll know the difference? So he gets up, he goes across, and the first cat he sees, he nails him. He says, you're Ernie Washington. I says, hey, man, ain't no problem. Whatever you see, man. So he takes him down, he books him, takes him up to Raymond, tells the judge, this is Ernie Washington. Judge says, right. Left him free on 500 bucks. Naturally, he jumps. Now they put up another warrant for Ernie Washington. Everybody's happy. Happy as pigs and, you know, yeah. everybody did their job. The system works. Sam? Housekeeping to ER Bay 2. Housekeeping to ER Bay 2. Where's Donnelly? 
Highway Patrol is going to send a chopper out for Clinton. Did early. he leave? That other guy's still unconscious, but they think he's going to make it. Imagine that. He must have semen for brains. I mean, if that had happened to you or me you know, for all that time, I mean... Just as soon as he comes to, we can talk to him. How'd he get that bike? I don't know. Highway Patrol must have sent it up for him. Hey, Sam. I can do the next watch. I'm okay. Not too sunburn or anything. I appreciate that, Bobby. I appreciate that. You bet. We're gone, Donnelly. Oh, I don't know. Thought I found some hell's angels to bust them up. You want to come? <laughs> Why don't you stick around? No. Down to hit the road. I thought of something today, Donnelly. Out there on the highway, when you're flagging that car down, I realized who people would stop for. People who stopped and got killed. Yeah. They stopped for us. Cops. Yeah. Well, that sure as hell better. They wouldn't know why they're being pulled over. They just see somebody flagging them, and they just do what they do. Yeah. Well, I get your drift. Take it easy now, Sam. You too, Jack. This is Sheriff Brody, uh, China Lake. I'd like to... China. Yeah, I'd like to get some information on one of your officers, a vacation schedule, that sort of... Yeah, that's official business. Okay, I'll wait. Oh, come on, Shaggy. Just wait for your punch. All right, hey, Susan. Come on, man. Real safe. Real safe. Get on base. Boston avoided its longest losing streak in 12 years. Randolph. It's a ground ball wide of third and into left field. Need a hand? Oh, thanks. You. Sorry, dude. Is Bobby there? No, 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 it's nothing urgent. I just thought maybe he went by the house or something. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good point. Well, it was. Oh, it was a rough day. Yeah. Diane, uh, give my regards to the kids. All right. Bye-bye. Place you got here, Brody. 
Where do you live, darling? Mexican district. I can be near my constituency. But it does get a little lonely now and then because most of them don't speak it English. Where are you from, Brody? San Bernardino. Came out of about a year ago, my wife and I. From the forest? How come? Started to eat at me. That affected the marriage. I figured move, maybe that'll save it. See last out here, feel less of it. Didn't work. Yeah. Nobody knows. What's your sister's name? Maureen. Maureen Kabalowski. Kernville? Yeah. Yeah. Kabalowski's the jerk she married. Ann Kernville, Kobolowski, Maureen. Yeah, it's with a K. No, Maureen, Kobolowski. Ernie, jerk, Kobolowski. Do you have an Ernie? You do, thanks. You do target range, Donnelly? You bet. So let's shoot us some beers. All right, throw one up. Hi. Why'd you go to Bermuda? 86, right? Right, yeah, I think, yeah, right. Why does anyone go anywhere? Uh, you tell me. Come on, throw it. No! Yeah, that's how it's done. Curious why I ask? Oh, it's my turn. I notice this coincidence. My turn. Coincidence is there are no disappearances when you were in Bermuda. All the other times coincide exactly with your vacations. It's my turn. What? It can. It's my turn. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mm. Like you killed that beer. Yeah, look at that. He actually hit it. It's bleeding. Turn it. This is Sheriff Brody. Got a call about a family disturbance at March Trailer Park. Responding now, over. Uh, Roger, Sheriff, we copy. Let us know if you need any backup there. Over. 10 4. Can you imagine how expensive everything would be if God had made Mexico? <laughs> I knew this cop one time. He was the first one on the scene. Hold up. There's some dumpy little liquor store down in the burial. And a cop comes in and he spots his kid. His kid's got this piece halfway down his clerk's throat. So he sees the cop. Turns real slow and he lays the cannon down on the counter. And then he smiles, this big gap to smile at the cop. It was a smile that got him, you know. It was like the kid was saying, hey, you know, it's just another day, right? You know, like it was a game, you know, it was being played over and over and over. Huh? The cop just blew him away. Whack. I mean, it's just so many times, you know, that it's just another day. And the funny thing was, neither the kid nor the cop said a word. It was like the way it was supposed to be all along. <laughs> they always come when you least expect them. Just sit there and don't move. Uh, Sheriff Brody, get an ambulance out to March Trailer Park, Space 11. My car's out front. Right away. <laughs> get 
Get your shoes on. Are we going for a walk? You just do what I say. I think you, uh, I think you better come with us. Why? Your deputy, Bobby Wade, well, he's been shot to death on Route 37 this evening. You're kidding. No, sir, I'm not. What's the license number on that? Will you follow me, sir? Hey, you bet. Officer Donnelly, I'm Captain Finney. I want to thank you for agreeing to talk to us. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, you want something to drink? No, but I'd like a cigarette. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I won't beat around the bush, officer. We're investigating a series of murders out here, which, roughly speaking, coincide with your last five, uh, four of your last five vacations. We wanted to talk to you because we want to know where you were yesterday between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. and the day before, that's Wednesday, between, say, the hours of 3 and 5 p.m. In that order? Well, I was in an arroyo outside of Little Lakes Valley, trying to fix my Harley and listen to the ball game. What was wrong with it? Well, I thought it was a carburetor, but it was just a plug fuel line. Who would? What's that? Who won the ball game? Dodgers, 62. Did you listen to the whole game? You're bad. And if I ask you what happened in the bottom of the six, you might remember. Randolph got on and Murray hit a home run. And uh, what's his name got a single. Lenny Harris hit one over the right field wall. I believe it was Hampton got the single. Are you a fan? What about Wednesday afternoon? Wednesday afternoon, I went shopping, looking for a toy for my nephew at Kmart in Reno. Would you like to know when I got him? That's not necessary. Yeah. OK, they're ready. I wonder if you'd do us one more favor, Rose. I'm here. one it is, I'll kick his face in. He tried to kill me. 
Okay, take him out. Okay, man, you're out of here. Hi. Guess I fell asleep, huh? Yeah. What time is it? It's after two. Here, you want some of this? <sighs> How's Diane taking it? Pretty bad at first, but they gave her a shot. Oh, by the way, who's on patrol? Wallace. A real sheriff, huh? It's gonna be okay. <sighs> Deputy Robert Wade has joined the ranks of our fallen comrades who stood guard at the battlements of society and gave the last full measure of devotion to duty, honor, and country. We know that their sacrifice has not been in vain. To his widow Deborah and to his children Jonathan and Betty, we extend our deepest sympathy. To Deputy Wade, we offer our humble gratitude. He gave his life so that we might live in freedom and without fear. God be with you. What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, my vacation's not over, Sam. Uh, there's too many people. Get out of here. No, no, no. See, that's what I want to talk to you about, Sam. The thing is, I can go home, or I can stick, or I can hang around room 37. I can do anything I want, Sam. That's what I've been trying to tell you. What happened to you, Donnelly? Uh, nothing. I mean, that's not me, Sam. Don't you understand? It's out there. Don't happen out there. It's all that garbage start building up, getting deeper and deeper. You know what I mean, Sam? System doesn't work anymore. Sam. It works. Oh. Well, if it works, why am I going?
can't work another double shift. My feet can't take it. I feel like a dead woman walking down the street. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> terrible. What? Hmm. Is something wrong, officer? Yeah. Not yet. You? You? You're the one. Oh, boy, do I feel dumb. You got that callous writing ticket. I guess we look like everyone else out of uniform, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you off now? Mm -hmm. So am I. Want to go for a ride? Well, uh, you'd just have to bring me back to my car later. Why don't you follow me back to my place and I'll fix up a snack or something? Watch out. Ooh. I hope I remember to clean everything up. Send your bus here. I used to have two cats. Buster and Crab. Name for Buster Crab. I get it. <laughs> Come on in. Would you like a drink? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm always thirsty when I get off work. Would you like ice? Straight up. Uh, would you like to sit in the living room? You look so big in my kitchen. I'm not that big, Kitty. I'll put some music on. In the living room, I mean. It is hot in here. All right. And you never talk about your boy. Mm. Eric? Never figured you wanted to know. When you care about someone, you want to know about them. So I had to work her shift so she could go to the shower. Are you married? No, no, are you kidding? Mm -mm. Not too many candidates around here. You know, salesmen and truck drivers. Not that they're not nice people. It gets kind of lonely, but you know, to tell you the truth, by the time I get off work, I'm usually so tired, all I want is a shower in the bed. Maybe watch TV for a half hour with Buster. He sleeps over there, usually. Weekends are when it's really tough. Especially around here. Nobody do it with. That's your pal.
over there? I didn't hear you. Ah, yeah. Well, that's what they say. The one you don't hear, that's the one that gets you. I don't understand. You don't? Well, man, when you're changing the tire like this, the car should be completely off the highway. Otherwise, the car comes by, doesn't see you in your history. For your own safety. But my car is off the road. No, 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 no. Come here. I'll show you. Now, look. Come here. Just sight. Sight along the car. See, you're two feet onto the highway. Can you see that? Can you see that? <sighs> that that's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Stand where I'm standing and look down the highway. Take a look. <laughs> On your own. <laughs> That's right. Don't move a hair. Let her go. Slow. That was a funny thing seeing you here, Sam. You all right? Yeah. Get in the car. No, Sam. Cindy, get in the car. I told you it was gonna have to be like this. I know, but... Now. Is just do it, Sam. Don't push it. You haven't got much choice now. Unless you want to let me go. Making choices is what being a cop's all about, Donnelly. We're gonna test the system. Oh, no. No cops in jails, pal, remember? With any luck, you get the gas chamber. Gone. It gets easier and easier. Yo. Dawson, 7T23. Decker, 7M46. Uh-huh. Doherty, 7I55. Favor, 7M49. Corner, 7T16. Yeah. Okay. Jones. 